exactly the same as the last video because I filmed it straight after. Um, and this one is about this month's glossy box, which the theme of the box is pop art. And can I just say, this is the best box, like design ever. It's amazing. And even the even the box it came in was really cool. Look at that. It's the little things that get me excited. <laughs> anyway, let's open the box, shall we? So as normal, you've got the pale pink and the black ribbon. Okay. So first thing I notice, there is no paperwork in here, so I'm not going to be able to tell you how much things are or anything or anything about them. So that's a good start. Um, so I'll try my best. The first thing I see is a perfume from Eve Rocher. If I'm completely honest, I have said it before, I really don't like getting perfume samples. Um, I always find in these little sample bot bottles, they always seem to smell the same. Like, each perfume smells the same. I don't know, that's probably just me, but let's see. I can't tell you what it's supposed to smell like because I have no paperwork, so... Yeah, literally nothing. I mean, it is a nice smell, but I couldn't, it doesn't smell of anything in particular, so. I wouldn't say there's anything special about the smell. I don't know, I'm just really fussy with perfumes, so <laughs> that's the first thing. There's actually quite a lot of products in here. There's got one, two, three, four, five. I have six products in here, and two of them look full size, so if not three. I can't tell you what's how big the full size ones are though because there's no paper. There is a Rimmel London BB cream, um, the matte one, SPF 15 in light. Um, again, I'm a bit funny when I get foundation samples and things like that because I'm a really hard skin tone to match. Um, but they've got it's in light, so they've got one thing right. At least I'm. Oh, I put a lot of that. <laughs> At least I might be able to use it if I don't use it all while well, I put it on my hand. It feels very silky, it's very nice. It's quite nice to it's nice to blend out as well, but you can see that it is too dark for my skin. So I'm probably not gonna be able to use it, especially now we're going into winter. Um I'm probably gonna be at my playlist, so Next is a Kiate nail polish in white. I actually really wanted to get a white polish. White polish? <laughs> I really wanted to get a white nail polish. Um, so that saved me a little bit of money. And it's in the colour Snow Virgin, number 10. The only thing I sometimes find with white nail polishes, if I don't paint myself in the first, um, is they are really hard to get like um, an even colour over the nail. For example, I've got one on here, and it, you're not going to be able to see it, but it, it just looks streaky. So we'll have to see what this one's like. By the way, that's white because it came off and it was the closest nail varnish I had to hand. But Kiate nail polishes are all really good. All the ones that I've got, I absolutely love. So hopefully this will live up to it as well. Then there is a So Susan mascara. I got a So Susan um blusher a couple of months ago and I really really liked it in fact I used it in my uh, autumn makeup look which I'll link below um, but this is Flutter Mascara by So Susan <laughs> I can't tell you anything else about it let's have a look at the brush oh it looks very stringy it's just strung off the bottle um, yeah nothing special about the brush itself but I'll try out the formula and see what it's like. Again, I don't know what it's supposed to do, no paperwork. I quite like getting new mascaras in, in um, beauty boxes though, because I am I just really like mascaras, so I love trying new ones. Then it is a, I can't say the name of this, I've never heard of it, You Trade Bell, you Trade Bell, um, but it's an exfoliating lip balm. Let's have a feel of this. Does it smell anything? Why do I always... I smell everything. No, 
this is done. There's tiny little bits of, um, well, I don't know what it is. Uh, no, there's tiny grains in it, which is obviously the exfoliating. It does feel really nice on the lips, though. Hmm. Again, I love getting little lip balms because they're just so easy to throw in your bag. And I've never had an exfoliating, I've never had an exfoliating lip balm before, so it'd be interesting to see if this makes any difference, especially during this season because my lips start to get so dry as the weather changes. The last thing in the box is a Nukes, again, can't say it, can I? Nukes Paris, um, and it's a face mask. 24 hour soothing and rehydrating face mask. Dethirst relaxes with plant milk and white flowers. Face and eye contour. It has eight plant milks, aloe vera sap and salicornia, salicornia. Enriched with almond and orange white flowers. It intensely soothes the skin for an immediate SOS rescue. Effect on skin discomfort like stinging, redness, sensation of heat. Moisturise and soothes for 24 hours. The skin looks radiant. Facial features and the eye contour area, contour, contour area appear relaxed and rested. And it just says you leave it on the face in the eye contour area for 10 minutes then gently massage any excess product in with fingertips or remove the Nukes Gentle Toning Lotion. Mmm, let's have a look. I like face masks. Try it on my hand. So it's a white cream. It smells quite floral. Oh, and it's literally just like a cream, so you just rub it over. So that's how you can just rub it in. I did wonder, it's like, why would you rub a face mask and leave it? That's how you do that. It actually reminds me, the smell, reminds me of the neon candle happiness, of which I have waiting to burn. Yeah. Well, I think that's going to be really nice. This is 50ml, um, and there's nothing else to say. It's really and I'm actually really excited to try it. I do really like face masks. That's everything that was in my glossy box this month. Um, I'm a little bit annoyed that there isn't any more information, so I can't read up on anything else like the perfume. I can't see what it's meant to smell of and things like that, but I'm sure it will all be on the website, so I'll have a little peek on there, and I'm sure I'll find out some more information. But I've never got that many products before. Maybe there was a little bit of an error and they put like an extra product in instead of, a, instead of the information card. I don't know. Let me know if you are missing an information card too. As always, all my social media links will be down below. Make sure to go and check me out there. Um, and I will see you next time. Bye. <laughs> well, I promise I'll be wearing different clothes. <laughs>